If you guys follow Logan Paul, I'm sure you've probably seen his house before since he got it a couple of years back. When he moved in, he filmed a vlog, obviously, and it looked move-in ready at the time. We've also seen Logan's house more recently, like earlier this year when Ryan from Million Dollar Listing got a tour, and on Instagram, or in Logan's fit. Most celeb homes look like they're spotless and organized when they're shown, but not Logan's. When I saw his home, I got some disorganized vibes, but the house itself is gorgeous. I mean, what would you really expect from a 24-year-old dude who's famous for his crazy videos? It's Logan Paul. I can't say I would see him as the type to keep a neat and tidy place without a few weird things around. That would be way too boring. Logan is an internet star, probably one of the most famous ever from Vine and YouTube, as well as an actor, director, musician, businessman, and more by this time. His Instagram following at the moment is 16.3 million, with almost 20 million subscribers on YouTube. Logan is also super wealthy. So what kind of house did all of Logan's YouTube money buy him? As you probably know, it's a gorgeous mansion in Encino, California, where he's been living for a couple of years now. Before that, he lived with his brother, fellow YouTuber Jake Paul, duh, in a fancy apartment. But now they both have their own epic spots to call home. Since Logan has been open with his house in the past for house tours, we're gonna see what his place is like. Is he a slob? Does it resemble a frat house like I'm imagining in my head? Or has he kept it classy? I'll also tell you some stuff about Logan's house that you may or may not have known before watching this. Hey guys, it's Kara and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. Today we're gonna go look inside Logan's house in Encino, California and give you all the details. I would rather have Logan give us an actual tour, but since that hasn't happened yet, I'm gonna cover what I know. We'll also see where he used to live with Jake and see how he's upgraded in his current home. I'll also see if the house has changed much since he moved in back in 2017. Do you think it'll look better or worse? I saw some comments on the last house tour he gave and they weren't in Logan's favor, that's for sure. Some of them included, genuinely he has ruined that home, it's like a squat. Some saying it's like a frat house or that it's a mess. But my favorite one was this, because Logan has a pet pig, you get it? If you like this idea, I'll make more house tour vids. We also did some others like one on David Dobrik's house and one on Kylie Jenner's and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Let's look at where Logan lived before his current mansion. Like a lot of YouTube stars or at that time Vine stars, Logan and Jake lived in the infamous 1600 Vine building in Hollywood and apparently they got kicked out of there. Other past residents of 1600 Vine included Lele Pons, Amanda Cerny, Andrew Batchelor, and more. So you could imagine the commotion at this apartment complex. There's a Trader Joe's at the bottom of this well-known building and apparently a ton of amenities. Rent back at this time started about at 2,500 US dollars a month, but I'm sure by now it's more than that. Since a lot of these internet stars rose to fame making crazy videos, just like the Paul brothers, there was a lot of this going on at the building. Logan's apartment here was supposedly 4,000 square feet and had five beds and 5.5 baths, pretty big. There were also two family rooms, a chef's kitchen and a private outdoor barbecue, a sun tanning deck and a saltwater pool and spa. Logan lived here initially and when Jake moved in, both of them were actually running their YouTube careers from the apartment for the most part. Back in 2015, Business Insider spent a day with Logan which included hanging out at his apartment. What was it like? According to the journalist, she said, Logan goes round and round the living room which is practically empty, save a couch with a broken leg and an orange chair. A 90 inch television screen is mounted to the wall. There are dishes in the sink and about half a dozen chargers on the counter. The garbage needs to be taken out. While that is kind of what I would guess in an apartment the Paul brothers were living in. There were still kids anyways. Logan lived here for a while, but he ended up getting evicted for his antics and pranks. Right here, okay, and we are checking out this building right here. Not that far, right? And just like that, Logan had to look for a new spot. But a few months later, he ended up moving into his mega mansion, so we'll just move on to that. Yo, moving sucks! And I forgot, um, because I haven't moved in a while. Yeah, you made it six whole months at your last Six day. whole months, bro! Logan's mansion is located in Encino, California at 4546 White Oak Avenue, and it's just south of Ventura Boulevard. Encino is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley region of LA, and the real estate in this area is mostly in the multi-million dollar ballpark. Apparently, Logan paid around 6.5 million for his, and he purchased it just a few months before his Japanese forest dead body scandal, so people were saying he was just hiding out in there. 
Well, we know now that that's not the fact. Logan's house is 8,689 square feet and sits on almost an acre of land with seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms inside. I guess the seven bedrooms is good because by the looks of it, his squad literally never goes home. I mean, it looks like they all live there. After today, tonight, I'm not drinking again. I can't drink. I'm never, ever drinking again. I said I'm never drinking again! After tonight, I'm never drinking again. Well, I'm not drinking anymore. Oh, I'm not. I'm not drinking again. I am never drinking again. I'm never ever drinking again. I'm never drinking again. <laughs> That's, I mean, it this time. I am never drinking again. <laughs> Robert Bird was the original home designer, and even looking at the real estate photos from before, it looked super cool and already set for a celebrity or someone important to live in and entertain guests. And we know that entertaining is something Logan definitely likes to do. Like most of these fancy ass houses the celebrities live in, Logan's estate is private and gated. So yes, we know the address, but no, you can't break in. There's an office, a den, a formal dining room, a large gourmet kitchen, a wine cellar, and more. There are high vaulted ceilings as well, and what the listing called a full media screening area, which had a projection room and a loft, which I thought was pretty cool. The acoustics are dope, and speaking of acoustics, we want to transform this into a studio. We are gonna make so many bangers in here. Think of the bangers, bro. Like, I don't know, is the booth gonna go here? Is it gonna go here? Is it gonna go up this ladder that uh, moves? Yeah, that's right. And I guess Logan did too, since he said he's turning it into a studio. A lot of the bathrooms have wood accents and interior, which I liked, because it mixes things up a bit with the modern vibe of this place. Logan's garage is also huge, but I'll tell you what that's turned into these days in a little while. There's also a massive pool outside, a spa, and a yard with a ton of greenery and space. There's also a spot for barbecuing, or in Logan's case, he can have someone else do the cooking for him. The pool looks like it would be fit for a huge group of people. The amount of chairs in some of these photos make it look like a resort rather than Logan's home. But I love the pool and backyard space for sure. Logan said on his first house tour that he's actually renting out most of the furniture that was initially in the house, but I'm not sure what he's kept or switched out over the years. So has this house changed since Logan and his boys took over? Logan gave an initial tour, like I said, when he was first moving into the new spa. Never thought that uh, as a 22 year old, the day I move into my first house, that I look, would look like a lunch lady. Kind of sucks, because that's what's happening right now. And it seemed to be pretty much move in ready since he kept most of the furniture. Oh, 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 oh. The grand foyer. For the first time, you're seeing the beauty that it holds. We got like our own little private like meeting room over here. Million dollar business deals. So there was the main entrance and foyer, a living room, and I'm sure Logan wasn't lying about the million dollar meetings. I think it's the dining room, just a big old table. I feel like we're rarely gonna eat there, but yo, just in case we do, we got wine options. There's nothing in here now, but this is like a little wine cellar and back here. To be honest, to be honest with you, I, like, I don't even know what I, like this is for. We just, we, it's good that we have it. And there's the dining room and wine cellar that were in the photos and some random room that looks like half a bar. Oh, the billion dollar deals go down in here. Check this out, bro. We, we, didn't, we didn't even plan on this. They had an eagle on the desk. We are spreading our wings. We are the birds of prey. There's clearly a few offices for Logan to do his professional work, and he really kept a lot of this stuff, especially if he even kept decorations like the eagle head on the desk. Everything looked tidy and put together on this house tour, but I wonder how long it took for Logan and his buddies to get comfortable. I mean, when Logan showed off the playroom, as he liked to call it, where he said there will be games and hangouts and parties, I doubt he was kidding. First of all, I wonder what a Logan Paul party would look like, and I also wonder how trashed a place would get after that. Logan said his favorite part of the mansion was the backyard and the epic pool, and I don't blame him. There's also a giant guest house or pool house in the back, which I didn't know about till this video. Just as big as the apartment that I just moved out of today, our plan is to turn this thing into a gym. <laughs> I wonder if he did end up turning it into a gym. And Logan confirmed some of his buddies were gonna be rooming with him in this place, so I guess that makes sense with the frat house vibes. Like I said, more recently, Logan took famous real estate agent Ryan on a tour of the estate while he was interviewing him on his impulsive podcast. I learned some stuff about Logan's house watching this tour that I didn't know before and also got to catch a feel for how it looks inside these days. One cool thing you should know that Logan did with his mansion is that he turned his garage into a studio, so he doesn't even leave his place to film an interview for his podcast. I never knew he recorded it there until now. Logan told Ryan to guess how much his couches were and he was pretty spot on. Your 
good at this shit. Why is he so wow. good? Is that what? it? 45,000 45, each. Each, yeah. 45 each. I deal with expensive furniture all day long, man. It's not really sad. So yeah, Logan has some couches worth 45K each. Logan's boy talks about the guest house, saying that it's a gym, a bunkie, and more. Sorry, Jake. Sick gym. Thanks, bro. So you have a trainer that comes here every day or you just work out on yeah, your own? Yeah, yeah, uh, our, boxing, our boxing coach. Yeah. And we, uh, we, instead of doing weights and stuff, Dog. And the gym is pretty impressive and decked out since we saw the room when it was bare. Obviously, my favorite part is the dog painting on the wall. With all his boys around, I don't even know who's squatting there and who's not. His buddy Mike was almost talking about the house more than Logan himself when Ryan was there, and people watching agreed. Oh, it's like a frat house. There are also not just dudes living there, but there are also a bunch of pets, like Logan's dogs, birds, and even his pet pig. Probably the best part of Logan's mansion to me is the animal. But I, I called her, I called her Kevin Bacon. That's awesome. Yeah. Here's a good name. Hi, 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 hi. But I also know that Logan's parrot Maverick was killed or eaten by one of his larger dogs, and his Pomeranian Kong was killed by coyotes, which is extra depressing for me because I have a Pomeranian who's like my son. I couldn't go on if that ever happened. But anyways, I do think the dude should be more careful. Okay, so back to the house. Some other cool things about Logan's house that he's proud of is this painting you see when you walk in. Awesome piece of art. Like, I fell in love with this piece of art, so I wanted to buy it, and uh, my dad actually got it for me for my housewarming gift. So, Dad, I love you. Thank you, man. His dad got him it as a housewarming gift, so that's pretty cute. Logan has said that this one big tree in the backyard is one of the main reasons he bought the house, and saying it would be perfect for a tree house. That tree. Yeah. I saw that tree and I said, I need to have this house. I'm from Ohio, dude. Nothing yeah. gets me going like a good tree, you know? That true. But looks like he hasn't done that yet. There's also a secret door that may look pretty cool when you discover it. The Hogwarts! Oh, you thought it was a pantry? No, secret doors. Oh, sh oh, the washer and dryers. But really, it only leads to the laundry room. I'd still want a secret door in my house, though. $2,000 ballistic bottles right there that are literally built to life, filled with blood. One of them's filled with blood, all the organs. What? Why? Why do you have but this? We don't know yet. We'll figure it out. We'll ah. figure that out after. You just like saw this online, so you bought it? There are more interesting things in Logan's house, but I think we've seen enough of it. So looking at Logan's mansion, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. I do think the dude has some taste, though, considering the house itself has a great design, a ton of cool rooms, and is a mix of classic and modern. All the wood accents in the building definitely give it a manly vibe, too. I thought that the house would be messier at first, because it's Logan and his boys likely partying, working, filming and sleeping there, and a bunch of pets, but it's pretty tidy for a frat house, I guess. Logan can afford maids, so I'm sure he has the place cleaned often enough. I mean, he has a personal cook, so it's assumed. Logan has enough at this mansion that he probably doesn't even need to leave much. He has his podcast set up in the garage, a full gym in the guest house, space for his buddies to have rooms there, a few offices, a spot for his merch, a giant backyard and pool. So what else would the guy really need? What do you guys think of Logan's place? Is it too boyish and immature or just perfect for him? Comment and let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if I missed anything. It looked like there was a lot going on there, so it's definitely possible. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be reading out some comments from our other videos and see what you had to say. Debbie BLLZ asked, Let's see Beyonce's home. Good idea, Debbie, I'll add hers to the list. You guys were also asking for Cardi B's house tour, which we did, so check that out. On our Ariana Grande house tour vid, Casey Yamamoto asked, Does anyone know if she has the whole building or just one story? From what I know, all the units in the building are three level penthouses and Ariana owns one of them. They're massive though. And Cynthia Kendrick commented on our Kylie house tour video saying, love all the pink and gray looks great too. I agree, Cynthia. Kylie's house is one of my favorite celeb houses that I've seen for sure. All right guys, that's all I could find about Logan Paul's home. I'm sure we'll just keep seeing more of it in his vlogs and from Impulsive anyways. I look forward to reading what you guys think about the spot and how we did covering his house tour. What part did you like best? Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye.